The Barrett M82A1 is currently utilized by over 60 nations, primarily NATO members and American allies in Asia and the Middle East. Every major military power has its own 12.7mm divided by .50 caliber class sniper rifle, with the Russian ground forces using the OSV-96 and the People's Liberation Army using the Zhejiang M99. Military sniping was transformed by one weapon system, which also gave rise to an entirely new class of weapons. The inventive Barrett M82 sniper rifle practically invented the category of large caliber rifles that equip military snipers worldwide to this day by using an existing large caliber bullet and adapting it to the precision rifle platform. In 1982, Ronnie Barrett was a professional photographer taking photos of a military patrol boat on Tennessee's Stones River. Two M2 heavy machine gun mounts in 50 caliber were mounted on the patrol boat. Barrett was intrigued by the guns and wondered if a rifle could be designed to fire the .50 BMG bullet. With no firearms design experience or training, Barrett hand drew a design for a .50 caliber rifle. Barrett drew the rifle in three dimensions to show how it should function and then took his design to local machinists. Nobody wanted to assist him because they thought that by the time he needed one, a 50 caliber rifle would have been invented. Barrett finally found one sympathetic machinist, Bob Mitchell, and the two set to work. Less than four months later, they had a prototype rifle. The Barrett 50 BMG, Barrett's first firearm, was finished in 1982. Barrett's 50 BMG rifle was a shoulder-fired, semi-automatic weapon built for the 50 BMG round. Unique among firearms, the Barrett rifle's barrel recoiled backward after firing. A rotating lock breech block equipped with an accelerator arm used part of the recoil energy to push back the block on firing. This cycled the action, cocked the firing pin, and loaded a new round from a 10-round steel magazine. The end result was a weapon that should produce enough recoil to cause discomfort during repeated firings, but felt recoil was decreased due to the weapon's weight and use of recoil energy to cycle the action. Later, to further lessen recoil, a double baffle muzzle brake with exhaust gas vents to the left and right was added. Barrett built 30 initial production rifles and placed an ad in the shotgun news. The initial order quickly sold out and Barrett increased production. The Central Intelligence Agency saw the ad and placed an order for rifles to equip the Mujahideen guerrillas that were fighting Soviet army occupiers in Afghanistan. The CIA saw the Barrett rifle as the ideal weapon for engaging the Soviets from long range. The Barrett's ability to destroy enemy war materials such as communications equipment, vehicles, weapons and other items with the heavy .50 BMG round created a new category of weapon, the antimaterial rifle. The Barrett M82 was 29 inches long, 57 inches long, and 28.44 pounds in weight. The M82 provided sniper rifles with previously unheard of levels of energy and range. The M33.50 BMG bullet weighed 661 grains, or 1.5 ounces, compared to the 55 grains of 5.56 mm ammunition used in M16 type rifles. The M33 round had a velocity of 2, 750 feet per second at the muzzle and delivered an amazing 11, 169 feet pounds of energy, compared to just 1, 330 feet pounds for the 5.56 round. The Barrett round was so powerful it still retained 1, 300 feet pounds of energy after traveling 2,000 yards downrange. At a distance of 1.4 miles the M33 round still packs 1, feet pounds of energy, more than 3 times the power of a 9mm pistol bullet. The Barrett M82A1 divided by M33 combination could also hit at very long ranges, while the M16 series of rifles had a maximum effective range of approximately 600 yards. The Barrett can reach out to 1,500 yards or more, and the company warns new owners that stray bullets can travel up to 5 miles. Properly trained shooters can push the round out to 2,000 yards or more but must contend with a considerable amount of bullet drop due to the effect of gravity on a slowing bullet. The first military purchase of the Barrett Model M82A1 was made by the Swedish Army in 1989, who ordered 100 rifles. 1990 saw the U.S. Marine Corps placed an order for 125 M82A1s and the rifles participated in Operation Desert Storm, the campaign to liberate Kuwait. In the 1990s, the Marines purchased an additional 400 rifles, and the U.S. Army finally came on board and purchased the rifle as the M107 in 2002.